Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, beautiful day. How you doing? Hope you're doing great. Today we're going to talk about a uh, really important but simple tool that we can use in C++, which uh, a lot of games use as well. A lot of, a lot of programs use this concept uh, of something called a loop. Alright, so a loop helps you to not just go from left to right and down, but once it reaches its bottom, it goes back up and keeps looping like this, like a circle. Alright, so the game you don't want the game to end in one frame, right? You want it to keep running until you press something or you tell it to quit. And that's what a loop helps us do. So there are different types of loops in C++. Alright, and the one we're going to talk about in this video is going to be the while loop. And it is just what it sounds like. It's just a while loop. While something loop. So while... Like in English, while something, something, now something is in a valid value here, I just wrote it so you'd understand, while something loop over and over and over. So you can, you can test this by writing while true do something. And what's going to happen is you probably won't see what's happening, but the console window won't close while it's the while loop is going so the program isn't closing until I close it alright uh, and if we write something in here I don't know if you want to do this but you can just watch me do it you probably don't want to do this right now uh, because it might uh, crash the program uh, hello so if I do this you're like what's gonna happen okay or we're we just gonna write hello once and then the program's gonna end nope What's going to happen is we're going to spam the hell out of hello until forever, until we close the program. So that's what the while loop does. It just keeps circulating between its two uh, and these parentheses here, uh, these uh, brackets, these uh, curly braces, actually, they're called. So in that way, we can have a program actually running constantly. So this is the while loop and the parameter in here could be just about anything. Now I showed you one way to do it, a boolean value, Just you just wrote true in here and that's fine, you could do that if you want, I don't recommend it, but you could do that. Uh, you can write something else, just any condition basically. So that's the syntax. syntax. Now the syntax is, I should have said this earlier, it's basically the rule set of the program, the way the rules of, of the code, the grammar of the code. Syntax, you can think of it as a grammar like in English, right? So in what order and what follows what and what um, should go in what. So the syntax is the while loop, the type name, the name of the, or not the type name, but the name of keyword for the loop, the while, the parentheses and a parameter in here, and then its body. And we're going to talk about another way to write a while loop, which is called a do while loop. So I'm just going to write a comment in here, do while loop. And this is a regular while loop just like that um, and there we go so key 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 or whatever oh, you can remember that I don't need to write that but whatever there we go so another way you could do the while loop is a smarter way would be like this let me tell the user to see out uh, quit program question mark and just a new line like this and then uh, let's do this zero uh, no equals no one is yes so there we go so zero or one in choice it is zero by default uh, so we're not going to quit from the beginning. Now the while loop is going to depend on this choice. So if choice is uh, greater while choice, sorry, while choice is less or equal to zero, we're going to keep running this. So this while condition here means that while this is true, while this is a true, returns something true, we'll keep going. So this will obviously be false if its choice becomes greater than zero, right? So if we say one, then it's yes, that will be greater than zero, and this will 
not be valid anymore. Then we'll not do this anymore. Then we'll quit and we'll go down here and we'll do anything else that's below it. Uh, so that's one way to check it out. So let's just actually put it in here because that's what we want to do. And we're going to ask the user to input the choice. Choice. Like that. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So obviously the first loop is going to come in here. We're going to come in here, quit program, because we're in here now, the first loop. Uh, we'll say no. We'll say no, 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 forever. And then we'll say yes, and the program quit, because I wrote a 1. Now obviously in this case you can write minus 233, it will still be less or equal to 0. I can write 1000 something something whatever and it will quit the program so it doesn't have to be 0 or 1 in our case it's either less or equal to 0 or greater than 0 which matter so you can you can do whatever you want here uh, but at least this helps the user understand what's going on so that's one way to do the while loop you can put any kind of condition in here All right, you can do whatever you want in here uh, you can say like this if choice plus 20 is less than uh, less than 100 I don't know how this works but any kind of condition here so whatever we write in plus 20 if it's less than 100 we'll keep going but if I say so if I say 20 it's still 20 plus 20 is less than 100 if I say 200 we're gonna quit see so you can write some kind of weird conditions in here you can do whatever you want um, and it will keep working. So this is a way to write a while loop. Now remember, a do while loop is also a something that you can do. Now what that does, the do while loop is great because remember, the while loop, to enter the loop, you have to first check if the condition is okay. So if my choice value here was one from the beginning, while would check choice for less or equal to zero first, and it will be false, and we will never do what is in here at all so we'll skip it entirely and we'll keep going so you check something first before you get in the do while loop doesn't check anything before it goes into the first loop it checks it at the bottom all right so the check is at the bottom here the check is at the top so the do while loop is going to be like this uh, while the condition so while true whatever you can write whatever in here so do while true now the do lets us do do lets us do obviously the do lets us go through one iteration of the loop before we check for a value so if we had the same case up here if we just comment the while loop out like this we just take whatever is in here actually we can use that in the do while loop I'll keep the while below like that I like doing that some people like having it right after the parentheses here bracket I don't uh, but whatever so we'll see quit program yes no choice and we'll have the same condition here we'll say choice is less or choice is less or equal to zero so we'll come in here we'll check the condition we'll keep looping like this so for us this is gonna be probably gonna be fine let's see let me just do that I think that should work yeah there we go so zero 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 one boom quit so this is probably how you want to write the while loop. I don't I don't remember how you did it, but now it's pretty clear. So you want a semicolon after the while should be after this one. I guess I thought you could write it like this. I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. There we go. So quit. Yes. Now what this lets us do. Remember when we had choice one here, our while loop didn't even run once. But this will. So if we say choice equals to one since it doesn't do the check on the top we'll get a choice we'll get the chance to input a choice first and then it will check if it's still less or equal to zero so let me just do this let me say see we ran even if it was one from the beginning so zero 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 one so that's a good way to use a do while loop when you don't want to check the condition at the top but when you do you can use the while loop. So that's your two types of while loops. Now there's another one in C++11 and I'll talk about it in the next video. 
uh, or it's an it's another type of for loop. I'm sorry, I just I just spoke uh, too soon. But it's another type of for loop, and we'll go through for loops in the next video, and I'll I'll show you that new version of it. Now I don't go through a lot of C++ 11 new stuff here. I'm sorry, I'm trying to still get that stuff in my head. But there are a bunch of things that you can do, uh, and I'll go through those later. I promise. Um, but for now, this while loop, just go practice with it. Practice with the if statements. You can make any if statements in here. Yeah, you can do whatever you want in here basically so yeah play around with that have fun and uh, yeah keep learning work hard and i'll talk to you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye